So, this looks like a pretty regular result screen, but in it lies the secret to easy, fast silver lions. So let's look at this. Two air targets destroyed, a couple hits, a takeoff, 4 minutes 50 seconds of game time, and 18,000 silver lions. Now you might look at that and you'll say, meh, seems pretty normal. But this is the best way to get silver lions without any premium, any wagers, anything else. So let me show you. Every aircraft in War Thunder has a statistic for its research percentage and its uh, Silver Lion gains percentage. Uh, it's a little modifier off to the side where it says, like in this example, 3.9 times 100%, so that's 390% Silver Lions. 100% would be <clears throat> normal. But in every tech tree, there's aircraft that, for instance, have a very low uh, Silver Lion reward and a very high Silver Lion reward. What you want to find is you want to find and fly the aircraft that have the highest Silver Lion rewards. So, uh, in America, that would be aircraft like the P-51 Mustang, uh, the D variant, the F-82, or the H variant will all have very high Silver Lion rewards. Uh, there's also aircraft such as the F4U4 and the F4U4B, also very high. Uh, the best you can get is a 410% Silver Lions. So 410%, that's really, really high. If you're getting double Silver Lions with something like, say, I don't know, a F8F1B Bearcat, that is... Um, if you're getting double silver lions from something like premium, all right, that's something barely higher than what you'd be getting without premium with the P-51D-30. And in every country, there exists aircraft with, you know, similar, similar uh, gains. For instance, in Germany, uh, the bf 9 g 14 the FW-190D-9, the... 17 k1 there's a uh, no good aircraft for that in the uh, in these two right here also I'm excluding jets because I mean if you've got jets already you, you what are you what do you need those silver lions for right um, in Russia uh, if you if you like playing for the bias and you're getting some silver lions for Russia that's unfortunate because in Russia there's not really any good or any like top-notch Silver Lion aircraft except for <coughs> the TU-4 and the MiG-15 BIS. That's it. MiG-15 BIS uh, and the TU-4 are the only aircraft in Russia that get the four the full 410%. Um, as far as planes that you can use, uh, I would say the Yak-9U is a pretty good contender uh, for Silver Lion gain. Um, you can look around. There's a couple other pretty good aircraft. <clears throat> but Russia really gets uh, shortchanged. I wonder if it has anything to do with the, with the communism. You know, you've got to share your wealth. In Britain, there's a good variety of aircraft you can use. Uh, Tempest 5, Spitfire LF Mark 9. You can use the Seafire Mark, hold on, give me a sec, 17. You can give me the, or you can use the Hornet or something like the Landcaster. All of these will get you the full Silver Lion reward. In Japan, uh, you can use an aircraft such as the A6M5 OST or OTSU. That will get you a very high reward. 
as well as the Chi-84 and the Chi-83 and uh, aircraft such as the G5N1 and G8N1. In Italy, uh, you're going to be using the G55 Serie 1 or the, the G55 Serie 1, the BF109 G14, which is also uh, 410 in Germany, and you can use the G56. In France, uh, there's aircraft you can use such as the uh, the VB10-02, or hyphen 02, that one will get you 410. Uh, the PBY4 or PB4Y2 ca uh, Privateer, that will give you 410 percent. Or <clears throat> if you use the French f 8 f one b you can get 400 percent. Let's uh, let's go compare that, if you will, to the American which is only 207%. And you, you start to see maybe there's a little bit of French, French, French bias. There's, maybe there's a little bit of French bias, if you know what I'm saying. Also, the, the SO8000 is just garbage. Huh. What happened? There used to be a yak here. wonder where it went. Maybe it was getting spammed out too much and they decided to remove it. I had a game the other day. The entire enemy team was French Yak 9Ts. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to show you this Show you this in action. I'm going to go take out my P-51D30. Let's, uh, let's see how it goes. I've got no boosters going, no premium. So let, let's just see what we get, you know? We'll... We'll take, we'll take whatever we get. Um, also, bear in mind, repair cost of these aircraft are similarly high. Uh, so, now with the exception, I believe, of the P-51H, because it kind of gets clubbed by jets a little bit, um, most of these have very high repair costs. Like, for instance, the P-51D30, it's a 20,000 Silver Lion repair cost. So in that game I showed you earlier, that screen, I actually ended up losing money because I was shot down. So, your number one goal, your number one goal is don't get shot down, no matter what the circumstances are. It, the kill's not worth it. Trust me, the kill's not worth it. You have to get, I think... Well, a little, you have to do a little bit more than two kills, two kills and some more, in order to pay off the repair costs. It's just not worth it. You get more silver lions for doing absolutely fucking nothing except flying down, flying around, maybe getting a few hits. Don't risk it. Right? Don't risk it. Stay high, stay fast. There's no clowns on this map. Oh, yes. But yeah, stay high. Stay fast. It's not worth the risk. You have to you, you make a lot of money just by surviving. That's true in any aircraft, but especially in these, where the Silver Lion return is way higher, but that's because the cost of repairing the aircraft is way higher. I got a uh, ace game on the P-51, uh, not last game, but the game before, and that got me set uh, 74,000 silver lions name of the game in American aircraft you want to get high one thing that you really have to remember about this p51 and a lot of Americans they don't really appreciate that much because all American aircraft are very fast but a lot of the Amer American planes are really fast the p51 especially and something like a BF109 something like an FW 190 you put you dive away from that, they're not going to keep up with you. Especially when you pull out of that dive, pull out low if they stay on you. Pull out low, odds are they'll crash. For sure in an FW-190 they'll crash. FW-190 has horrible compression over about 500. So, keep that in mind. Stuff like BF-109s, they don't compress as bad as the FW-190 does. But they still lose a lot of maneuverability at high speeds, with the exception, I think, of the K4. I think the K4 has pretty good maneuverability 
at all speed ranges. So be careful with the K4. You, you always need to be careful with it. But really the name of the game is you don't want to have someone on your tail. You want to keep yourself safe. Fly in a straight line. Almost nothing can keep up with you if you fly in a straight line. And then get like a kilometer, kilometer, a half away, put it into a little bit of a climb. You've lost them. And honestly, you don't have to do super well. One kill game where you don't die is going to get you a lot more than a three kill game where you do. So don't don't do anything unneedish, un, unneedingly risky. You've got to, at least for the first couple kills, you've really got to play it safe. So most of the stuff at altitude over in this area not so much over there, they're going to keep these guys all down. These guys aren't going to want to climb climb up super hard because there's a P-47 and a Spitfire over there. However, this 109 is pretty much in free reign, and that SO-8000 is a juicy target. Look at him. Look at him. And he's, no way, that SO-8000 is going to land any shots. The only people who are going to touch him is us, so... Don't be afraid to use flaps. Boom. Don't risk it. Pull out. He's on fire. He's your kill. Especially with no one else in the area. And even if he does survive... Yeah, see, there he goes. Even if he had have survived, that's a critical hit. That's still a lot of points. The big thing, your points. Your, your score. Get that score nice and high, ground pounding, killing fighters, doesn't matter. You get that score nice and high, and you'll be doing well. This P-47 just went in for a little bit of a dive here. And this FW-190, I'm not sure what he's doing right now. He's compressing hard. He's pulling up as hard as he can right now, by the way. I guarantee he is, yep. But it's not enough. Avenger and you still don't see the guy? Is he up in space? And he's in a fighter. Where the hell is he? Oh, he jayed out on his airfield, huh? Where, where? where? A A sixteen. Boy, what? Boy, what? This boy ran. All right. I didn't know you could get out of Avenger range. He's so far. Look at him. He's all the way off the map. Oh, he's coming after you now. Let me get my altitude back. There you go. Good, good shit. Good shit, little frosh. I'm just glad the game's over sooner, you know? We blew it! Oh, fuck, I forgot about USSR, USSR Freight Car MP4. Jesus Christ, that guy. Oh, man. I wonder if there's any more. Any more Freight Cars? Nah, there goes the game. Let's see what I made. Total 24,000. 24,000. That's not bad at all. Got a, We got a pretty big reward for winning, so that's good. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, getting whatever you need to get. And yeah, other than that, other than that, have a good one.